Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I'm not sure if you heard this yet, but now Biden wants to ban 9mm handguns. He said there's no rational purpose for anybody to use a 9mm handgun in terms of self-protection and hunting. You know, he always likes to bring out hunting and say, it's like the deer are wearing Kevlar vests. <laughs> This is why we don't want to give any ground. It will never, ever, ever be enough. At first they say, we don't like ARs, AKs. We think they should be banned. You know, hunters don't need 30 rounds or there must be an awful shot. <laughs> and, and this is what we're seeing. And then on top of it, they say, law enforcement agrees with us. Law, law enforcement doesn't agree. I, I haven't heard any, actually quite the opposite. Most of the law enforcement, by far, that I have talked to say that we can't get there in time. You have to protect yourself. Self-protection is the responsibility of the individual. Police show up to make the report after crimes have been committed. So by banning 9mm handguns, what they're basically saying is that they want only the criminals, the thieves, the murderers, the carjackers, the rapists, these horrible people to have the advantage. Every day in America, we see self-defense situations take place with an armed citizen. Actually, there have been studies in prisons with people that were hardened criminals say, the ones that I feared the most were not law enforcement. They were the armed citizen because they will not think twice and start shooting. They are a dangerous species to deal with. The armed citizen. But I don't hear any talk about that right now. I don't hear anything about that. The only thing I'm hearing is bans because right now the liberals and, and some Republicans, by the way, are feeling the power. They feel they have the public on their side because nobody likes to see what happened in New York and in Texas and in other cases. So the first thing they want to do is reinstitute to their constituents and say, we're going to ban this and everybody's going to be safer. Nobody's going to be safer. You're giving the criminal an advantage and you're saying that you're going to be safer. And one thing that really bothers me, and I've been reading more and more about this, is that certain Republicans are turning coat. They say, well, now that I saw what happened, I'm, I'm open to discussing what's going on with ARs. Basically, they are validating the false claim that an AR-15 can shoot itself and kill a bunch of people. Yes, it's horrible. I admit, it is horrible when you see this. But that's no different than somebody running their, their Dodge Ram into another vehicle, killing that person, saying we need to eliminate and ban Dodge uh, trucks or whatever. You know, it, it's, it's so outrageous. We never want to compromise. I hear people on, on our side say, well, if we just give them this, then maybe they'll go away. They're never going to go away. Have you ever heard of a ban on a 9mm handgun? We've heard that if it has a pistol grip, if it has a, a high-capacity magazine, if it has a, a stock that expands a little bit, these are all dangerous. And so they come up with all these ideas. Now, it wasn't too long ago when Biden was the vice president, and they compiled a list, a list from from here to the top of my house of all of the rifles and firearms they wanted to ban. And that now it has trickled down to 9mm handguns because you can't hunt with it. They say, well, the Second Amendment's not an absolute, but the Second Amendment is a constitutional right that gives the people the right to keep and bear arms, and nobody's talking about it. Instead, they're saying, how do we stop this from happening again? I don't hear much talk about increasing school security. I don't hear much talking about increasing the number of armed citizens for those who choose. We don't hear about that. Instead, we hear about bans. And now it's gone down to 9 millimeter. And then once that doesn't get to the uh, outcome that they're looking for, then it'll be, oh, well, then we need to ban 357 Magnum. Of course, we need to ban revolvers. We didn't go far enough. And I'm sick of these Republicans going and saying, well, I'm open to it because I don't like what I saw. Well, I don't like what I saw. All right? This is, this is an outrage. You're validating their false narrative that the gun itself commits the crime. 
And so here we have an empowered group of liberals, Biden, who is is so incompetent. He's, he's ruined the economy. He's ruined the military. He's ruined our stance in the world. He's ruined fuel prices. He's ruined uh, inflation and, and how outrageous that has gotten. He's ruined everything. And now he wants to ruin the armed citizen, the people that law enforcement depend on. And, and in many cases say, go get yourself armed because we won't be there to protect you. He's ruining everything and in, in the process, doing everything to strip away our rights and our protection. It's an outrage. At this moment, you would expect somebody to say, well, in fact, we should increase security. We should increase good people with guns to help prevent crimes like this. But instead, they want to ban them and empower the criminal, make them more dangerous and make us less likely to protect ourselves. It's an outrage. Will this happen? I can't see any way that it possibly could, but that's what's happening now. And it will never, ever, ever be enough. They'll always be coming after us. Therefore, we don't give an inch. It will never be enough. And these people are literally, and I'm not saying this in any derogatory way, they are sick in the brain. I appreciate you watching, and you guys be safe.